Welcome to the sixth lesson of this uh, program. In today's lesson, we will continue our talk about VB.NET operators. In the last lesson, we covered the concept of arithmetic operators, and in today's lesson, we will talk about concatenation operators. So what is concatenation? Concatenation operators join multiple strings into a single string. There are two concatenation operators, the end percent and the plus sign. Because the plus symbol or the plus sign also represents an arithmetic operator and it is used for other purposes, therefore it is easier and it is better to use the end percent. In our lesson, we will work with the end percent only. I have Visual Studio open. I'm gonna click New Project and I'm gonna come here and say concatenation underscore operators. Okay. And I'm gonna click OK. Alright, I'm gonna grab a button control. And I'm going to say display. I'm going to scroll down and change the name to BTN display. Okay, come back here, double click to create click event. And I'm going to say the following dim str first as string equals visual basic okay then I'm gonna create another variable and I'm gonna call it str second as string equals the word is okay and I'm gonna create a third variable I'm gonna say dim str third as string equals uh, awesome all right now I'm gonna create a fourth variable I'm gonna say dim str display as string equals now I'm gonna concatenate I'm gonna say str first and str second and str uh, third all right now I'm gonna display this in message box I'm gonna say message box that show and I'm gonna say you let's make this capital you said put a little space there and I'm gonna come here and say end percent uh, str display and I'm gonna make a comma and here I'm gonna give the uh, title to my uh, text box so I'm gonna say concatenation operators okay uh, what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna click here make a little space so that I create space between the uh, visual basic is and awesome so I make some space like this they're not it's too close to one another okay so far everything looks good I'm gonna click the start button okay I'm gonna bring this here and let's see all right looks good you said visual basic is awesome right here see this is how we concatenate in visual basic this is my title for the message box and everything works fine all right uh, basically with this we come to the end of this lesson we're not going to cover the topic of comparison operators we will delay it until we uh, learn about 
uh, decision making in Visual Basic and like that it will make more sense to us. And uh, with this we come to the end of this lesson. I thank you for watching and you have a good day.